What is up, everyone? We got the truck. We got the trail hooked up, so this can only mean one thing, Spoon. Jimmy bought another car. No, I didn't buy another car. By the title of this video, you guys probably know what it is. We are finally going to go pick up our E86 down the paint shop. It has been at the body shop getting prepped and painted for quite a long time. I know Anthony has been putting so much work in. Spoon went down there, bunch of nice himself, and put hours on hours on hours. They've made the car way too nice. It, like, <laughs> Listen, the body was nice. We just had to make everything else just as nice as the body. Way too nice. <laughs> and you guys haven't even seen the color yet. We, The chassis itself, the bare chassis was painted a few weeks ago, but all the parts just got sprayed. There's a lot of parts to the car. Those are finally done in color. We get to go pick it up. We have to bring it here. We get to put it all together today. And I am super, super excited. So you guys have no idea what the color is yet. I think we picked the perfect color. It suits the car perfectly. It's, it's so good. I've only seen the chassis. Now I get to go see it for the first time with all the panels. So let's go pick this thing up and talk later. Get outside, baby. <laughs> How's this thing running? It's running great. It's just a loud, which I knew and wanted. So <laughs> all around, it's great. Sounds like the, I heard a little bit of denial in your voice there. No. <laughs> <laughs> So dude, the 86 has been probably the longest project on the entire channel ever. Not because it's been the most intricate project, but it's just been kind of something, it's just been a casual project. Like we've always kind of got to it, we got to it. And it's kind of crazy that it's gonna like, kindly come to. He's learning how to drive like a Honda. There you go. But it's crazy that it's finally coming to fruition. Is that the term? Fruition? Flu fru fruition. Fruition. No, no it's a dirt. He's got a turn down. I found out why it's so loud. The muffler's echoing off the ground. Yeah, you'll get that with a turn down. James, oh my it's god, so you don't even know. We were, trying to... <laughs> <laughs> we were on this back road. He hit VTEC for the first time. It felt insane. First K? Yeah. First K. Hell yeah. We're not going to show you the color just yet. I got to wait a few minutes for that. So we're going to switch to some old timey here and remove the color. All right, now we're black and white. Anthony! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I haven't seen it with the panels on yet. Right in. <laughs> Holy shit. This car is too nice, dude. Oh, wow. Oh, so nice. Holy 2024 shit. 2024 Toyota Corolla. A86. Oh my it's all mopped up. God, bro. dude. Have you not seen it? I haven't seen it in person. You haven't seen it at all? No, since the first time when we came here before Christmas and saw it get sprayed. But we didn't even say for the color. I saw the chassis, but I haven't seen the front end. Look at this thing, dude. You guys made this car too nice. I know. It's the nicest car you want. Right now, it is, yeah. is officially the nicest car, <laughs> for sure. You know what's great about this thing being done? At first, it seems so overwhelming because it's one less car we have to get painted. <laughs> I've been waiting. This what, you see been, it all in one? This guy's been sitting and I'm itchy to see it like all in one piece. I don't know how you made a Duraflex bumper look OEM, dude. It's wild. <laughs> you like that? <laughs> I wish I could be shocked, but I was here like <laughs> 10 seconds 45 ago. 45 <laughs> minutes ago and I seen it and it looks insane. Can they see the color right now or no? No, it's black and white. Oh, wow. There's Show them a little. One. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Let's get the car loaded up. All the parts load up, bring back the shop, and then uh, we'll show you guys the color. Careful! Paint to the other side to match the rest of the car. Just a good touch. So everything on the inside was uh, hot rod black, or sand black, mm -hmm. and then the outside and the jams are all color matched. It's so good. <laughs> <laughs> Started this thing in a long time, huh? It's got old ass E in it. Which are, which, I don't even remember what buttons are what. <laughs> All motor K24, baby. You can't beat that. Start every time. This is wild. 
hell? This car runs great, dude. This is a K24 bottom end with a fully built Pro 50, 156 four piston head with Kinsler RTBs on it. This thing rips. How's it looking this on? It's so good. Phenomenal That's work. That's good. That's a sharp car right there, ladies and gentlemen. Dude, this is wild. Like, I, I honestly forgot how nice this car ran, too. I've wanted to paint a car this color since I got my first 240. Like, this has always been the color. And we never had, like, a really good opportunity to do so, so it's kind of cool to be able to bless this car with it. I'm so happy they can't see the color right now. And we got this car, and it... And it, it it wasn't a color, it was just primer. It had no Complete energy before. Complete blank slate. Complete blank slate. So it's like really cool to like, the energy of this car now is, is this. Now let's get this strapped up and let's get it back to the shop. That shit looks hard. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get all the parts laid out. You ready? What we got so far? And all right, we got all the pieces here. You guys have suffered enough. It's time to show you guys the color. You ready? And there we go. We got Millennium Jade. Jade, it's a Nissan color. This is an R34 GTR color. It's very rare. It's probably one of the best colors to ever come out of the 90s. They killed it. Honestly, it's very similar to the color of the Kuki S14 in the back, right? Surprisingly close. It's surprisingly close, and we knew it, right? Uh, Silver Moss, it's one of the rarest Koki colors, and that car probably gets some of the most attention in here because of the color. It is just an amazing color. A lot of guys do tend to put a little bit more green yeah. in Millennium Jade, make it pop a little more, but we wanted to keep it at this tone. I think it goes really good with this. It fits the body. Wait till you see the bumpers and everything on it. fits the body perfectly. Yeah, what would you say? This is more like gold Anthony went? With this is like greener. That's more of like a silver-ish green. Yeah, That's exactly. But I think this tone suits the vibe of this car very well. I yes. don't know how to describe it, but it does. And you'll see as we get more parts on throughout this video, it's really gonna transform. Like it looks good now, but even just dry mocking these bumpers, it, it, it's wild. So we have a lot of cleaning to do yeah. and a lot of prep before we can start putting stuff on. So we're gonna bring that out now so you guys can enjoy the fun stuff. So let's get to it. We have all the parts we have for the car laid out. Spoon dug these out this morning. We have the trim, we have a bunch of the interior pieces, we have a bunch of new pieces over there. We've got the seals and some hardware, and we have a lot of work to do. So for today's video, we're gonna pry and just get most of the big stuff on so we don't have a bunch of time. And then we're gonna do another video where we do the glass, the seals, like all the trim. That's where it really comes together. And we also have a fresh set of wheels for this car, which should transform it, but you have to wait for the next video for that one. Ask the front or front to ask? Ask the front. Ask the front. Let's get to it. Oh, it's like all the little stuff you just get to add up so fast and just make it feel like such a nice car. Yeah, hey, but that's important. You need your seals so your body panels don't smack each other. This thing was covered in overspray. I cleaned it with lacquer thinner. Lacquer thinner and a rag takes overspray right off the seals. Makes them look clean. Hear that, Austin? Write it down. It's a good tip. Uh, it's in the notebook. <laughs> what are you doing here? I am sealing where the trunk flange goes. Most factory guys use seam sealer to seal them, but silicone, nice good silicone work just as great. This is so we don't chip the paint when we're mocking the panel up, because it's real easy to smack them together when you're trying to mock things up. First big piece. Can you tell that we wiped the whole inside off? So look how clean it looks now, like it, but it's nice and bright. It's like you armor all the entire thing. Yeah, exactly, a little Windex. Hand tight. Hand tight, and then we're gonna shimmy around. There's a lot of room in this. I mean, it's an 80s car, right? So I can imagine there's a lot of room in a lot of the panels. Put your hand and just push up on it while time. Yep. Nice. 
Yeah, 80s cars definitely got big guys. Yeah, except it. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna do flares next before we get the rear bumper on. At first, I was pretty against doing flares. I want stock body, but then when we started to do body work on it, we realized it was rust on the arches, so it was kind of an easy choice. But 860s, they kind of need the flares. Yeah. It's just, they need, they need them. It's so funny, it's the one car in the world that you put flares on it and it doesn't decrease the value. Like every other car in the world kills it, but it ain't six. Same thing, seal up the holes so you don't get water inside your quarters. That makes sense. So a little bit of silicone. It really doesn't take much for water to get in, does it? Nope. Some Honda bond on there, it's gonna never come off. No, relax, I've done enough restoration. <laughs> I know, the silicone's <laughs> nice because it comes off easy when you want to redo it. I lost my mind trying to find black hardware in store. Couldn't find it, so it looks like we're gonna have to run with the silver for now. I don't know, I don't think it'll look too bad with this color. It probably looks fine on camera. Yeah, you it can't drives even me tell. mad. You dude. can't even tell. No, the black would be so much better. You can also find those on the black pretty easily. What I love is the fact that these flares, honestly, when they were in paint, they looked massive. But now that they're in color, they look way more subtle. I gotta show you one of my favorite parts and that is like this little pocket right here. I know it's not much. The way Spoon was able to get the flare to meet up with this bumper, like this whole piece didn't exist before, right? Because it was meant for a stock quarter. So Spoon made this entire corner right here to go into the flare and like you have this body line right here. So this is just like such a beautiful piece of the car. That's one of my favorite parts of the car. It's, wow. it's so weird, right? But it's just with the body lines of the bumper. The, the, way, the, the like, way this bumper swoops into the flare like this, if you look at it from the back, it's just... When are tail lights? Uh, tail lights. I want to see the tail lights. Oh, you want to do wing? Yeah, we got to do the wing. All first. right, let's do the wing. Here we have a TRD hatch wing, right? It's one of the most common wings for the 86. It looked great. A lot of guys tend to mold them. We didn't mold it. This kind of just will sit right on, so. We're still after the race car revive. Yeah, I think it'll look good. I'd, honestly, I'd rather have the couple screws than cracking panel bonds in two years, so. I got one shot the latest time. Do some sketchy shit, Austin. Since we're not panel bonding and molding it to the wing, these screws are a little long, so I trust myself to cut them on the car. You can cut them off the car, but then it made it a little harder to get the screws all the way in. So, so when you close the hatch, it will hit right here if I left them long. Ask me how I found out. <laughs> Take your time. You don't want to heat it up too much to where it burns the paint on the other side and you don't want sparks hitting your first paint. In the ideal world, if we had a clean blanket, I'd put it over the car, but we don't have any clean blankets. So just blow it off before you wipe your panel down. Hey, eh, didn't damage nothing. just adds so much more flair to the car, especially when you start adding like the big kicks and stuff like that. And it makes the car look a little bit longer, which is nice too. That's good. Yeah, these cars can look frumpy real fast. They can look frumpy real fast. But to finish off the rear, we're missing a major piece, and that is the taillights, right? It's gonna bring it all together. I'm really excited to see some color against this color. When I was in Ireland, I actually was able to get myself a brand new set of red line tails. Ireland, the home of the A6. The home of the A6. If you want A6 parts, contact someone in Ireland. Neil actually got set this up for me, which was really cool. When I was at the final round of IDC driving Darren's car, the guys brought these to me and we put them in the suitcase and now we have them, which is pretty cool. I think I'm getting older because I'm really starting to love amber. You know what I mean? Like I was always about get rid of the amber, like, you know, all clears or all reds or something. And now I'm starting to love it. So this against the green is gonna be killer. So spoon. Let's go find some hardware. <laughs> Ooh, look at the rear oh, garnish. This is the hard part to get. Jeez. And we don't got to trim black this one. This one's already painted, I think. Anthony, are these it? Are these the ones? Those are the ones. The ones. I'm red, hyped. Red, I'm bummed because I forgot the name of the guys who told me these, but huge shout to those lads. They know who they are. We need the license plate lights. I guess I don't have the right ones, so we'll find those later on. But for now, it's like OEM. <laughs> Oh, the red, oh. Yeah. Dude, see the red contrast against it? Oh. Come yeah. on, dude. Beautiful piece. <laughs> Guapo. Oh. 
Bellaco, pero no desesperado. He's getting horny right now. <laughs> 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 He's getting... Bro, do it to me, do it to me. God, dude, this color, it... That's so cool against it. That's so good. All the accents are gonna just make this color pop even more. Oh my God, it's so fucking good. It's like a fresh ass sneaker. <laughs> <laughs> For real. Like fresh out the box. Dude, that's incredible. Let's get these things bolted in something. But in the taillights, it makes the car look so much more like high-end and expensive, doesn't it? Yeah. Well, we've only seen it as like this bare strip. Uh, we've never seen like... taillights in this car. No, we've Ever. never, never seen taillights in this thing. A couple different hash taillight options, and the red lines are just so good on this color. It's insane. So much red. I like so it. Red. I think it needs like a Toyota or something here. You know what I mean? Like yeah, a, yeah, yeah, yeah. Little vinyl sticker. What are you thinking? The gold. The gold? I told you, gold yes. emblem. A gold the emblem gold, would yeah, go gold. crazy. But like, a, but like a subtle gold, like a Camry gold. Yes, yeah, exactly, yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Toyota Camry, you know that gold that Camrys are? We all know that damn 100%. color. Yeah. That's like subtle. <laughs> Don't be filming this, Austin. We can't see it. I need to get a little bit of a spacer on it, but. It, 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 it gets better and better. Oh, no. It gets better and better. We're shutting the game well, that, yeah. That's the good, that's the perfect yeah, wheel. Yeah, we have like an eighth of the carpet together and we're already losing our mind, but we have a lot more work ahead of us and a lot more parts to go on, but before we do that, we have to take it more apart. Door time. Seals in. Don't forget the Already seals. put the striker in. Door seals do so much. Especially when you put them in the wrong position. Okay, never mind. <laughs> This is why we taped all of the edges because it's no matter what you're gonna you're gonna end up touching stuff. It's just gonna happen. You remember when we got the car and it had shaved door handles? And dude, no way! Go on the outside. Go go go! Pull it! Push it! Oh, oh, no way! way. No! Oh, oh my, my god. god! I've never been so happy in my life. That's <laughs> oh, I feel like I just won the lottery. <laughs> there was just a panel bonded piece over it, and it popped off. It was like the best day. Oh my god! We were Pops right in the place. Sucks when you have like a fresh paint job and your hinges aren't painted, so Anthony, yeah, thank you so much for that one. Door number two, boys. It's the little things. The little things that get me. Take your time. Don't be afraid to shim or in this case use washers. All 80s cars, 70s cars. If you saw some old muscle cars, the shims that they use on fenders and doors, you'd... Just to get them to line up properly? Yeah, so it's not bad. It's a industry common. Dying for the skirts, because the skirts bring like, if, like the one piece of air that really brings cars together. Uh, don't worry, I still got some tweaking to do. Easiest way to line up the hood. We know the fenders in the back are where they need to be because this is squared here. So both sides are squared here. We know this is where it needs to be. So we simply square the hood in the rear so that the gap is even on both sides. Leave the front of the fender loose. And then we just simply match the gap. These 80s cars are gonna have bigger gaps. So I can just somewhere around there. Gaps even all the way down. And it'll be the same thing on the other side. Skirt time, baby. Just want to see it so bad. Skirts always do so much. Oh. <laughs> Fresh paint and everything. It's just the nicest car you own now. Fresh paint job will do that. And at the end of the day, it's still Duraflex. <laughs> That's a bad bitch, dude. Like, holy shit. It ties the arches together now. It makes the car look lower. Uh, how many clips is it of me just being like, oh, it's so good. A little compilation of Jimmy saying, oh, 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 oh all year long. <laughs> what was that smooth? What was that? <laughs> <laughs> I'm happy we didn't two-tone it either. Ow. Yeah, it looks so much better. Just let it bark, you know? One more size here. <laughs> I knew I had him, Spoon. 
Ooh. You like that? Oh, that's sick. I didn't know they were reflective. Yeah, it's good. That's good. That's so good. I just wanted to see it. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> Huge thank you to Neil from Juicebox for helping me source all this stuff, honestly. Like, come on, dude. Oh, okay. <laughs> we have the Japanese, the Terreno. Uh, God, that sounded so American. Terreno. <laughs> Headlight lids. We'll call it a lid. And so, of course, to go with that, we have the corner marker, too, as you guys saw earlier. So, this should really kind of blend together extreme. Yeah, come on, dude. That's so Come good. on, dude. Like, with this color, it's unmatched. Yeah, that's good. Dude, brand new OEM parts for this car. It's 1986. It's wild. Toyota, I love you for that. <laughs> Last piece of the puzzle, or for the body-wise, is going to be the front bumper. This is the piece that's gonna tie it all together. And I'm so I'm excited to see this part, right? So one of the cool things that we did was we integrated the OEM grill into the aftermarket bumper. So we cut this, I believe we had to cut this off the old, old bumper, right? So long ago, and then you bonded this to the bumper, right? Yeah. So we obviously still have to uh, repaint this, but for now, let's get on the car and see how it looks. A lot of guys that run this Verve textile kit. Well, almost any aftermarket kit doesn't have a grill up there. So True. they just leave it open. And, and it looks wild. It's just obviously a, a inch and a half gap between the hood and the bumper and it looks like ass. So we found this lower vanals, we cut apart, spoon bonded it, and I think it's gonna look incredible, so. That's what actually holds the top of the bumper up too. So if you look, see the guide holes right here? These actually slip into the headlight brackets. Yeah, and then I took the top holes and just not unbolt it. So it just guides itself in. T-Bone, what do you think? I see you back there. Sick. Yeah, it looks sick, right? Yeah. Dude, I can't wait to see it all on the wheels. Like the wheels make it pop so much. Got the area clean, and now it's time to see it with the hood closed for the first time. This is where you really take it in. This is it, this moment. It's already cool seeing that grill there because you never see anyone put the grill back in. Oh, look at the front, dude, look how square it is, too. It just hits different when everything lines up. God, that is, like, <laughs> makes me not regret not going 11 front at all. Like, Hell just seeing no, I that. I pop up front end more than 11 now. I, I don't know, but know this, why. No one ever has this all lining up, you know what I'm saying? But there is a light that goes in here, and I ordered the wrong one, unfortunately. The one I ordered was too big, so I think once we get the OEM light in the bumper, it'll set it off even more, but as of right now, like, even the rear flares, they, they fit so well. Like, they look so bulbous at first, and now it just, like, flows. Wait till you see on the wheels, dude. Like, when it goes on the wheels, it's gonna be ridiculous. But, for now, enough talking. Check this thing out. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Picture it nice, bro. It's different. Like all together is way, way more than what I was right? expecting. No, I know exactly what you mean. But and there's still way more to come, right? We're gonna we have to get the glass in with all the trim. When we get all the trim, it's gonna do so much because it's gonna add those nice little black accents around everything. It's gonna really tie it together. Uh, we have new door handles. Obviously we have the new wheels, and the new wheels alone is just gonna make this thing. You guys know wheels will make or break a car with the wheels. It makes the color pop even more, and it is just, I mean, we still got the seats in there, everything. It's all gonna add up and just get that much better. But for today, just picking it up yesterday and getting all the bits on now and making sure that they're actually tight, squared up and everything, it's a tedious process, but man, look at the, look at the results. There's a lot of work to do, but the motivation is burning. <laughs> it's nuts. <laughs> There's no mirrors on it. Anthony, did you paint the mirrors? <laughs> no, I thought we were gonna paint them. I didn't get spoon wants to hit them then. Where did you put the mirrors? We have mirrors for this thing. I don't know what mirrors we got. We never had mirrors for this. We got gators for it, bro. I'm not playing gator doors on this car. Buy mirrors for the car. They're sick. I'm not 
retrofitting some Ooh, bullshit yeah. ass. You know, drill two you more holes. That's it. It's like my thing. No. Two square. That's like the you know no. when the salt bay goes like this. Nope. That's like me with, with the gondola like this. You know like. <laughs> this guy is too square for it. Too square for it. Yeah. I want to do it. Where is it? Uh, let me mock this. Where is it? No. <laughs> They don't fit. Look at look at how perfect that fits. That fits. That you're fit. forgetting the belt molding and all the trim that goes around there. I know a guy. <laughs> take a step back. It doesn't flow with the car. There's the vertex car has skin. Mm -hmm. See? Honestly, really? Honestly. You Austin. I see your point, but the the mirrors are too round. It's bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> it's your car. Who won't talk to me for three weeks? <laughs> Follow me. If any, I like. Would you do the East Bear mirrors? Yeah, I like the East Bear mirrors. They're, it's a good look. It's nice and subtle. If anyone has the East Bear mirrors for sale, let me let me know. They're hard to find. DM mirrors. DM Steve too. Me yep. up. It needs it. I'm not putting OE mirrors on this thing. It's too cool for OE mirrors. A lot of progress on today. Insane monument here at the shop. Like this car has, it's been around for a long time. And though it's been a casual project, to see it finally come together is just ridiculous. And like this i mean like look this is something else still way more to come so stay excited for the final results but for now i hope you guys enjoyed it so you guys know the deal like comment subscribe stay tuned for more content and anthony yeah next time people <laughs> <laughs>